I'm going to show you like how to, to see use more the guides for this mod. Gordon check out the playlist you now see on six. screen. You and do click the subscribe button to actually do Check out my channel. One You'll see that I am dedicated to actually providing you with guides for every single mod in Minecraft that I can. If you'd like to support the channel or get more one-on-one support, then do consider also joining my Patreon linked in the description below. However, if you need a bit of extra help on maybe this mod or a different one, feel free to also join the Discord in the description below. And where one of every get some help in our Minecraft visitor, channel, etc., etc. The other item you need to make is this one here, the focal manipulator. And again, it's just using some iron plates, arcane stone, etc. You make it in the arcane workbench. A blank lesser focus is by dumping an Ordo Viz crystal into your crucible with these three different um, essentia aspects. And then we're getting to the actual tutorial now. How do we use it? So you're going to place a focal manipulator. Don't worry too much about this thing on top. That's a bit more advanced. Um, so we're going to go into our focal manipulator and we come with this screen. Your inventory is then put on the left here. I can take my blank lesser focus. And can you see there's this little slot down here on the left? I'm going to place it into here. This is then saying, what do you want to do with the lesser focus? So... The eye is you. This is the caster. And it's saying, you know, this is where we're starting. On the right-hand side, we have the complexity, 0 out of 15. Experience cost, sometimes it will cost you experience. And the viz cost from the local surrounding area. So I've got a few unlocked here. Um, let's do a projectile fire spell. So if I choose fire, this means that because it's from the caster to fire, it will just burn like literally where i'm standing so it'll just burn myself so what you actually need to do to make it a projectile is add projectile first and then projectile links to this one and then we click fire so what that's saying is me i'm the caster i'm using it then i want a projectile and i want the projectile to be fire i could then choose bolt instead um, and it'll hurl, you know, a bolt of electricity rather than fire, for example, things like that. And it will depend on the ones you've unlocked in your Formonomicon. So let's say I'm going to use a bolt. You can see here the complexity is 9 out of 15. It's going to use one level of experience and 93 viz. And it will use a little bit of viz every time we cast it. We are going to need two crystals for this. Motus viz crystal and potentia. Now, if you're not sure how to actually get specific Viz crystals apart from the ones you mine, don't worry. If I go to Motus and I go to Motus Viz crystal, all you need to do is in your crucible, put in some Motus and put in a quartz sliver. Put quart never quartz into your inventory. It will give you nine of them. You then throw that quartz sliver into your crucible to get Motus. Well, with something from Motus. So all of these things give Motus. Um, let's say Motus is something that moves. So you have to really think, you know, what is stuff that is moving? Like a boat. A boat would be a really good idea for Motus. It's really easy to get because, you know, boats are always moving. Rails are moving. Pistons move. That is kind of what Motus is. So you can just shove a rail into your crucible. Let's say I get a rail. And I get, um, sorry, um, quartz slivers so i'm going to dump the rail in and you can see there's some stuff in here and then literally i can just throw in the quartz slivers until everything is empty in here so now i've got five motus viz crystals what was the other one we needed for this um a potentia one you do basically the exact same thing so you get potentia and once you've got both of them you can then press start crafting. Now you can see here that I can't start crafting. What I'm going to assume is... In fact, I actually don't know what to assume. Motus and Potentia. Motus. Do you know what it is, guys? For some reason, it doesn't like um, me using a bolt. I do have the right crystals, so I'm actually not sure what is happening there. Um, but if I take off bolt, or even if I put bolt... And then fire, it actually likes it, which is really bizarre. I actually don't know why it doesn't like bolt. If I use fire, I can start crafting. I did think maybe it was because there wasn't enough viz in the area, but that is not the issue. 
What we can do on fire, for example, is add burn duration in seconds and add the power of it. But you can see there the complexity is getting too much. Um, so we just press start crafting. And boom, we have now actually, um, you can see that the viz cost is going down. And once it gets to zero, boom, we are going to make it. You can see it's being made in here. It does take a little bit of time. And there we go. It has completed. So when it has actually completed, you can just um, go into the um, focal manipulator and take it out. And you can see it says blank, lesser focus, projectile speed, one, burn, uh, fire, burn duration, you know, X amount of seconds. And then I can just take it out of my inventory. I think I just deleted it because I'm in creative mode. But to actually use it, you can then go to your gauntlet and press F on your keyboard. Make sure to check your key bindings. F brings up this little wheel where you can select which focus you want. And I can select it. And then I can just right click to send out fire projectiles like this. And you can see on the top left hand of the screen how much viz is in the area um, that I'm using. And as I go to different chunks, you can see the viz amount uh, will change between each chunk. Like in this chunk, it's empty. There's none left. So, you know, I'm doomed. I can't use it. But over here, there is some. And there we go. That is how you use lesser focuses in Formcraft 6. If you'd like to see more guides for this mod, check out the playlist you now see on screen. And do click that subscribe button, because if you check out my channel, you'll see that I am dedicated to actually providing you with guides for every single mod in Minecraft that I can. If you'd like to support the channel or get more one-on-one -on -one support, then do consider also joining my Patreon linked in the description below. However, if you just need a bit of extra help on maybe this mod or a different one, feel free to also join the Discord in the description below where you can get some help in our Minecraft channels.